Toshi Chi. Good morning. 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 Hence, the Ah, Chimbalana Tira so uh, thank, I'd like to thank these ladies for bringing us this um, wonderful song and dance that's related to the three areas in Tibet, the snow land, and giving us a very auspicious beginning of this teaching. So thank you. And uh, exactly like uh, it is said in a song, that the land of snow, the snow land, is not nothing, is nothing but a jewel. So usually when we think of a jewel, we think of something that will bring us happiness and something that is very valuable. That is something that can, um, that is, uh, that has all the values and all the happiness. So 2,500 years ago, our teacher, our great teacher, Buddha, has brought to us the Dharma of realization and the Dharma of scriptures. And that in all his teachings, it encompasses the law of dependent origination. That is the high science that is based on truth. And later on, when this teaching goes to the snowland of Tibet that has been held by the doctrine holders uh, without any differentiating of any um, lineages and headed by His Holiness. And who is like the Buddha of all three times? The Buddha, uh, His Holiness, embodies the qualities of Buddha himself that he's endowed with the unsurpassable love, the unsurpassable knowledge, and the unsurpassable 
capability. So for any, for um, in the past or for the future, for such a Buddha to arrive at our place in this world is very difficult. And then it's especially precious and uh, it's especially precious for us to encounter him and to generate faith in him. So he is indeed the jewel for the 21st century that he has provided us teachings for us to listen, to contemplate, and to practice. He has taught us the teachings pertaining to the ground, to the path, and the fruition. That he has helped us to either hold the doctrine or to increase to develop uh, the teachings. And so it is true, as it is, that, as it is said in the song, that the snow land is a jewel. Maso, Kenny, Dangazo, Kadju, Chen, Kadinche, so young Jaja, Dang, Mazo Peba, Sang, Monetan, Rick Peba, Yanni, Zingjung, Yanni, Pebala, Pung, you are day, Zingjung, Sachin, the day, Monet, Amy, a plummy tongue, Sachin, the day, Yinzang, Maso, Chulu, Yawami, Medicla, Yawami, Sanji, Jomden, the two day, and Zambuli quality, quality someone to be laundry. And Della Pink to a ye, Sandy Jump in the ye, and it Tawa Chinji Malova, Jeba Chinji Malova, and it Tava may be true. Medicla Yam, Chulula Yamame, and it Gana Yama may be Tony, Zambuli Yom's Tony, Jeno, Shirk Pitchon, Ninji Pitchon, Nidit, Dinga Zoji, and it will continue. Ochimbo, Tesongazo, Zambling de, and they got tattoo yons of sober, and it's touching what's it down. They were, and it come there, she did a long girl, Melam Tower Naji, and was a long. Dip to a dip, dip never say, chatting jay, that in chair. So I would like to say thank you again. Yes, indeed, we Tibetans have bring something very valuable to this world that is the Dharma and the instructions of the Lama. We brought them to this world without any distinction to the races, to the ethnicity. So this one world is like home to each one of us. And so Dharma can only bring benefit to this world. And what Dharma does is to help us to diminish our mistaken view and the mistaken conduct to something that is unmistaken. It teaches us about nonviolence. And so from Dharma, we learn the unsurpassable or the supreme wisdom and the supreme compassion. And this is indeed something 
that uh, we, the snowland, has kept for the world. And Dharma is also something uh, that is exactly what the world needs. That is the most valuable thing, that is the most valuable wealth, the most, most valuable studies. On the other hand, now this world has come to a time, a terrible time, where very many terrible things are happening and it's it, it, it is seemingly impossible to save or very difficult to save ourselves from these terrible things or disasters. And, and we have realized that the outer, the pursuit of outer materials cannot save us from these disasters. So, um, the science of the mind or mental health is very important as that the sufferings can be uh, the sufferings can be divided into uh, physical suffering versus the mental suffering. And so um, the uh, science of the mind, if I will put it that way, uh, has to do with both. And that by practicing Dharma, it can really bring us peace, starting from the individual to the family and to uh, the country and to the world. And so on the basis of material or science of material, then uh, along with the science of the mind, we can indeed develop the most exceptional wisdom and the most exceptional compassion because they are the price, the most priceless. And the, the, uh, the two exceptional wisdom and the exceptional compassion can bring us not only the temporary happiness, but also the ultimate. It helps us to understand the nature of all phenomena. And it is something that we can indeed practice. Bless all. Bless all. Me, ring cups, Baba. Any, kishi, langji, my Any, um, lojong, tsiji, tachambo, ta, um, shirap, um, any, ninji. So today our topic here regards the Geshe Langjik's um, eight verses of training the mind. So in these eight verses, it shows us the union of wisdom and compassion. And so today, it also teaches about how to apply them to our uh, daily life and uh, how to, and then with that, how to uh, help us with both our body and mind. So this is what we'll be talking, we'll be uh, discussing here today. And so um we're here so that we as we aspire to attain the highest uh, Buddhahood and then uh, through refuge and generating bodhicitta so that we can take our practice to enlightenment. So let's start with the refuge verse here. Sanjin 
Ninyana Chamagi, Sorbatewa Young Semba Chibalaina, So generating, basically generating great motivation is very important. When we take refuge, we take refuge in the three jewels. So in this world, there are very many uh, what we call jewels or the precious and sublime ones. Um, so there are, for example, very many bodhisattvas. There are incredible um, love and compassion and mind that they are full of love and full of compassion and then um, their behavior never harms any sentient beings. That um, we um, that teaches that they teach us to have a kind mind, to have an honest mindset. So if we try to develop a kind mind and honest mindset, then we are following um, their teachings accordingly. Otherwise, if we go with uh, a, a dishonest mindset or try to harm others, 
then we're not following their teachings, so to speak. So be it uh, three jewels or even one jewel, some of you, uh, you know, might, might think that there is only one sublime one, one supreme one. No matter uh, what you believe, regardless of our religion, let's think of the three, jewel, three jewels or the one jewel uh, is the one who teaches us the correct view. It is the one who teaches us about opening up our mind. It is about uh, um, sort of uh, making our mind vast. If we get caught up by, oh, I'm Christian, or I'm Buddhist, or I'm this and that, or uh, if you're a Buddhist already, and you're very strongly attached to, like, oh, I'm a Sakya, Geluk, or Nyingma, or Gagyu, or, you know, or this lineage and that, then it's a huge loss for you. Because these are, these type of thinking will only make our attachments grow more and more. What we need is really this kind heart and this honest mindset. Because none of us wants suffering. And suffering comes from a, a bad mindset. Whereas only the kind heart and an honest mindset will bring us happiness. And so we need to uh, strive ourselves at diminishing these bad mindsets and then to develop more and more of the kind heart and an honest mindset. So in any way, in any case, a vast, wide and open mind is very important. Last one. Last one. And then so the first verse goes by thinking of all sentient beings as more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel for accomplishing the highest aim. I will always hold them dear. This is a very precious uh, uh, almost like an oral instruction. That's all. <laughs> In general, um, the uh, the verse contains the most exceptional wisdom and the most exceptional compassion. So this is almost like his his own oral instruction. So for someone ordinary like me to want to uh, sort of delve into it, it's very difficult. But um, I'm here today to share my uh, insight with you with very pure intention. Passo. <laughs> Uh, And so um, the author's mind, I can say that um, when he wrote this, <clears throat> uh, he's coming from a very uh, pristine, uncontrived nature of the mind. He's completely honest and pure. And so for this, for uh, this is where he's coming from. 
So for us to read his words, where it's coming from such a pristine uh, level, it's very, it might be very difficult for us to accept it right away because our attachments are so strong because we are, we are indeed sentient beings. We might think, okay, so to think all sentient beings are more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel. What use can that be for me? I don't see the point of this. I don't see the value of this. But the truth is, only when we see the nature of the mind, only when we have the unmistaken view on conduct, only then we will understand that's how precious sentient beings are. That's and so this um, uh, exceptional wisdom, actually, all of us have it. It's just we don't know and we don't know how to utilize it. So because we don't know that we ourselves are endowed with this precious, exceptional wisdom, then we are inundated by um, all kinds of afflictions. Um, our mind is filled with anger and attachment and so on. And that type of mindset is what we usually use in a daily life. Plus. Mm. So when it comes to something natural or another than might be self arisen, it's actually very important. Take the sunshine or the sunlight, for example. When the sun shines, it sort of it shines everywhere. It doesn't differentiate itself to shine here and not to shine there. Uh, it when it shines, it shines everywhere as if it's this it's it's sort of a you know equal the way that it brings light to the world. And uh, in the same way, we all like we all naturally like greens. You know, when we go to somewhere in an environment full of greens, uh, and then we naturally like that type of um, you know nature. Or um, we also like when a uh, place we say that uh, uh, the air is good, then uh, you know we we like somewhere that clean air and so on. So uh, these are the the type of um, or the kind of situations that we would like situations that have um, uh, its nature to it. And in our liking, there isn't much or. In our liking, it's not attachment. It's not like we're attached to these nature things. It's just we like it naturally. And so through all these attachments of the mind, it is knowing the nature of the mind. Uh, it is uh, knowing uh, the nature of the mind that can um, be an antidote to the attachment to the mind. And that uh, having known the nature of the mind can bring us happiness. And therefore, knowing that the nature of the mind is very important. Plus. <laughs> 
Semjen tamji tüsün de semjen tamji sunun de kazuyi şirap kazoru zaten bu anne lodi zaten bu kazım mı lodi ben misi zaten bu doğa. So when we say that um, about the mind or the nature of the mind, that uh, it it can be um, uh, it can be um, it can be help to all sentient beings. Um, yeah. it, ha- it helps all sentient beings in all three times. Uh, it is like it is like uh, the family to us, and then it helps us to um, have to, to develop. The uh, supreme or exceptional wisdom, also. Bây giờ tôi xin nói với các bạn, các chị, chị đang ngồi đây, ngồi bên cạnh chị một cái cái gì đó. Xin nói với lại là cái gì? Ngồi bên cạnh chị một cái cái gì? Cái gì? Xin nói với lại là cái gì? 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 And so when we talk about wish fulfilling jewel, like this is not just an ordinary jewel, but a wish fulfilling one. Why is it wish fulfilling? It is because that um the uh this jewel can help us to achieve or to accomplish great meaning it can help us to achieve great compassion um it can help us carry great responsibility either temporarily or ultimately therefore it is very precious therefore it is wish fulfilling must ตาตัวเอ็นเจ็บปัญจิมบาชูสิเซมเจ็บทําจิตตาตัวจ่าจิมบ่ทงอชูจ่าจิมบ่ยงอชูจ่าจิมบ่จิงแลดีทําบุท
because this body that we have actually uh, all the enjoyments that this body needs or that all the necessities this body needs all depend on others our food our clothing shelter reputation and so on all come from or all depend on um, others and so uh, even our this the sort of formation of this body um, the sperm of the fa of our father and then the egg of our mother come from our father and mother and then it goes if we sort of goes back then the you know our parents body also come from their parents and so their parents and their parents and their parents so it has become uh, boundless, limit, limitless. That is why sentient beings are relevant to us. That's why we are connected. And that is also why sentient beings are precious. Very often we think that, oh, uh, what I have, you know, the sort of diploma that I have, the education that I have, the, uh, the things that I own or the wealth that I own are all from me and me alone me independently i am the one who gets i i am the reason for everything that i have and i don't need anyone else this is usually how we think of ourselves <clears throat> and that when we look at others we very often look at the faults of others we never look at the faults of ourselves and then to the kindness uh, to our parents or our parents like sentient needs. We, we don't pay any attention. We don't repay their kindness. And this is, we're so wrong. We don't, we don't repay their kindness. Um, means that we don't, we don't actually see that all we have come from all sentient beings. We need to understand that. And then this is the reason why. Sentient beings are very, um, this is the reason why sentient beings are very precious. That I alone am only one, whereas there's um, countless others. And then all others are just like me, who do not want suffering and want happiness. And so if one is able to carry the happiness or the benefits of all sentient beings as one's own duty, then we always say that this person is very responsible. This person is very capable. Not only that, this person is able to develop and to utilize the uh, exceptional wisdom and compassion. It is someone someone has pure intention, um, and so on. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> ダメかな、そう、先で、ちゃんとどうとるわ。で、いざね、まず、白木、エンジ、カシドコワイナ、ナムジェンドワイナ、モダンドワイナ。でね、ランガ、サンバ。あの、ちゃんとの先人って、先
And so again, if we understand why the sentient beings are precious sequentially, then uh, our mind will be uh, will be easily will easily develop an honest mindset because it is based on truth. When we go out and about, be be it in a car or we take a, uh, you know we take a plane, um, the roles that we take or the plane or anything that we take. Nothing does not come from all sentient beings. The food that we take, we usually have. The clothing that we wear. Uh, and when we sit, we need to go to the hospital or uh, our, uh, the places where we stay. All of it depends on sentient beings. Even this body comes from others, our parents, this very body of ours. And then the education that you have come from your teacher. So how can you say that uh, all of this comes, all of this is because of you, you alone? How, how do you say that, um, you know, nothing comes from others? So um, everything depends on others, uh, others and other sentient beings through encounter, through mutual reliance, through uh, relations or imputation. This is the law of dependent origination. This is how things come about. And this is the reason why we need to repay the kindness of all sentient beings. Then if we don't understand the reasons and then just, just say, oh, we need to uh, repay the kindness or we don't want to repay the kindness of the sentient beings and then making everyone else your own enemy. Actually, the real enemy is nothing but your own mind, the three poisons, all these afflictions of your own mind. And because of that, because of these afflictions, very often we grasp something that is not permanent or constant as constant. We grasp something that is not pure as pure. We grasp something that is suffering as happiness. And then we also grasp something that selflessness or that lacks a sense of self as totally having a self. And then with this type of affliction, we then go on and on and wonder in samsara, we take rebirth over and over again. 
And wherever we go, our mind becomes really tight. And so even at times when we have, where we could enjoy, uh, I'm sorry, when we could have the samsaric perfections, the, the samsaric bounties, so to speak, we, we don't know that actually the nature of all that samsaric perfections, it is in the nature of suffering. It is also in the nature of change. And that is what actually eventually will bring us suffering. Whereas if we understand how to utilize the exceptional wisdom, then we will be able to develop the exceptional compassion. We won't go about our life like these little animals and uh, just like an animal just go about uh, for the most basic needs. We will understand the kindness of all sentient beings. We will know the reasons for that. And um, to the people who uh, suffers, we will have great compassion to it. It's, it's important to identify the object of our compassion. This, uh, this nature of the mind, all sentient beings is endowed with this nature of the mind. So why not Pursue this. Why not strive to understand that? If we pursue, if we try to understand, to realize the nature of the mind, then the result will be happiness. And not only is, it's not only, uh, only little happiness, but limitless happiness. And that is the most valuable thing. Whereas, <clears throat> um, if, uh, the uh, unlimited, so one, on the one hand, it is unlimited suffering, which comes from mistaken mind. And on the other hand, it is um, the uh, unlimited happiness coming from the application of this unsurpassable wisdom, which, which actually comes from taming of one's own mind. That's it. So the second verse goes, Whenever I am in the company of others, I will regard myself as the lowest among all. And from the depth of my heart, cherish others as supreme. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Semjian Tangi Dear, this is why I'm not going to be 
Then he ran Kazutachi Boyoin, Yenji cutting she be torn. Ran Kazin Jenon, you know, Yen cutting in between. What's the tuning in between, Jenny? Mansa Zimbaina? Ye took the Kurvaina? So then in the Drovaina, Tropo Mumichagro. Ran Ajichimbo, Ran Joyo, Ran Pungyo, Ran Shivachim by Indian Susola Pepper. You be Sibi Punzo de Yovaina. Pepper Chivaina. So then this regarding oneself is the lowest among all. So no matter, uh, regardless of time or the kind of uh, actions that one do, um, it is our self-grasping that make us end up having the mistaken view. That is to say that very often we want happiness, but we always end up having suffering. Why? It's because of self-grasping. And so, um, to regard oneself as the lowest among all, what benefit will that bring? It will uh, remind us of the kindness of the sentient beings. Uh, it will help us to develop an honest mindset. It will help us to be kind. And not, uh, when whoever we go with, when we sort of regard ourselves as the lowest among all, we need to understand that the uh, it is like to which or to which object that we grasp ourselves as the lowest. What is it, what is it exactly that what we're grasping or we're regarding ourselves as the lowest? So because of dependent origination, that is, that existence is nothing but an imputation. And so, um, if we don't see ourselves or if we don't regard ourselves as the lowest among all, then we will end up having lots of faults. That is, we will uh, be very easily be prone to anger, uh, aversion, attachments, uh, ill will, covetousness, jealousy, and so on. And that type of mindset will bring faults, uh, will make us and others to be at fault, which will bring us big loss. And so no matter how capable you are, how uh, smart, intelligent you are, they all come from others. Therefore, regard yourself as the lowest among all. That if you could do that, wherever you go, whoever you go with, you will have lots of friends. And um, you, if you don't do that, then even if you have a lot of samsaric perfections, those perfections will not bring you any benefit because people will be, uh, people will not see you as being precious. And so, Regard yourself as the lowest. That will bring you benefit. People won't be jealous of you. People will love you. And people will believe in you. That's all. Then, Jonam Gunda, Rangula, Doji, Namun Jemata, Dajin Maru, Chebana, sent up to me, Boba Shores. No, Gilidi, Dindigi, Young. Ninja, she loved the Amevacha. 
So if we look at the second and the third verses, it's actually about the way to open our wisdom. So uh, if we can open, or we know how to open our wisdom, then we will be able to develop these good qualities, these positive qualities, such as compassion, such as patience, such as even meditative concentration and love and so on. Usually, we are very susceptible to any outer circumstances. For example, when we encounter unfavorable circumstances, when bad things happen, so to speak, then very easily we lose all these good qualities that we have. Not only we lose these good qualities, but our attachment and our anger rises very strongly and very easily. And therefore, if we can, or if we know how to, if we know the way to open our wisdom, then we will be able to develop a kind heart and an honest mindset. 
usually when we're on our own, we uh, naturally, very often, we look at faults of others. In fact, we look at others quite often. As our eyes uh, can only look at others, our eyes cannot like turn back and look at ourselves, right? And so um, we are so used to we're so used to afflictions. We have a very strong uh, habit of uh, giving rise to negativity, negative emotions, such as anger, attachments, uh, covetous, covetousness, ill will, and so on. Afflictions. These, giving rise to these, we don't need, we don't even need a teacher to uh, teach us to do that. We just naturally know how to do, just naturally give rise to. It. And so when that happens, then we end up getting ourselves in trouble. We also end up getting others uh, in trouble. Basically, um, our trouble goes on and on with these negative emotions. And then so we need to think how to deal with this um, mistaken mind. We really need to recognize the fact that um, these are, these negativities are the mistaken mindset. When um, circumstances happen, there are um, the objects or the reasons that make us angry or make us develop or give rise to these negativities. There is that, but there's also a part that regards ourselves that is discursive thoughts that we strongly attach to it. And so the two sort of give rise to the mistaken um, thoughts. And so, um, and when that happens, then uh, we end up nothing but suffering. So because we all want happiness and we don't want suffering. So everything, things exist, um, things exist uh, uh, without any independence. With, uh, things do not have an intrinsic existence. And it is everything exists because of dependent origination. And so at those circumstances, at those times, we need to utilize methods to help us to uh, develop a kind mind, to develop a honest mindset. That we need to know that um, nothing, nothing does not have. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, we need to understand that um, the the person who makes us angry does not understand that things do not exist uh, without an intrinsic. Uh, things ex do not exist without an intrinsic nature, and it is it is because he doesn't understand that. Um, then we, you know, then he gets into these negative emotions. And then so to that, we have, uh, we feel compassionate towards him. When that person um, is engaged in this curse of thoughts, uh, when, when he's angry, when, or when his anger is increasing, it's because of ignorance. It's because he thought that things has intrinsic existence. And so if we develop our compassion this way, then that is an honest mindset. So with the proper method, it would also help us to develop patience and compassion. And this is how we need to learn the way to open our wisdom. If we don't, or if we don't learn to open our wisdom, then we will end up reacting with bad methods, and that would only get us into trouble. However, with the clear, uh, and subtle mind, we can um, actually avert um, the um, these destructive emotions at the moment when they arise, very strong. That's it. That's all. Rangjing and Besem Jenny, they don't have a little thing. Jinjin, that the Tibet never got. Jinzi shows some such a boy, she's on the door. And so the next is the fourth verse. Whenever I see ill-natured beings or those overwhelmed by intense negativity or suffering, I will cherish them as something rare, as though I found a priceless treasure. 
那把今年老外人拿着，他开了呢，独家，因为这几年这工作了，落地，啊，你别麻烦吧，他来不及，他就，每次进了困境期啊，这里，他就，没几个月，这里，他来不及，这里有多少，人给出呢，这里有好几
There's nothing about that person that is not bad. <clears throat> However, if we know how to utilize the wisdom, then things will turn out differently. Without using wisdom, then we will be uh, bombarded, we'll be sort of bound by all these negativities in our daily life. We will be um, caught up in jealousy, in competitiveness, in um, uh, mistaken views, even in ill will. And this is the exact opposite of what wisdom is. Of course, all of that is a type of wisdom, or maybe I should say intelligence. But that is the type of intelligence that is mixed with a lot of afflictions. So um, it is not like we're not at fault of anything, but we need to open, we need to know the way to open our wisdom. And if we know that, and if we actually do open our wisdom, then uh, we won't be bound by anger. Then uh, on top of that, we will be able to develop true compassion, true kindness, and uh, true patience. So <clears throat> when we face the person who brings us uh, suffering, the reason we need to know that the reason why he does that <clears throat> is because that his mind is mistaken and that whatever he is grasping to or he's strongly attached to, <clears throat> It is totally against the happiness that he wants. So uh, do not think, and then, you know, you might think that, oh, I am not at fault at all. The faults are completely on the other side on that person. And so like, if you if you go on that way, then, you know, you end up nothing but having a, a quarrel or beneath. On the, and then if you don't use your wisdom, and then you will end up seeing everything is, as we say, that seeing everything black about that person, you know, from head to toe, there's nothing good about that person at all. And so to, to utilize wisdom, then we actually will be able to see that person uh, with the deepest compassion, that um, he is not like that. He's, he's usually not like that now. He actually has a mind that is free from all that. But because of his strong attachment or grasping, he ends up like that. So having the real understanding of this part, <clears throat> you will um, be able to generate compassion. And the type of compassion is unbearable uh, compassion, mindset. And so we can also apply this to the family. Usually we get into fights or with our family very easily because, uh, you know, we all have like, bad views, and then we, not only that we uh, attach or grasp onto those views very easily. So we get into fights very easily with our family. However, at those circumstances, if we know how to utilize wisdom, and especially it is the time for us to apply the four immeasurables, that is, um, may they have happiness and the cause of happiness May they be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May they um, do not part, part uh, from the equanimity uh, of uh, happiness. This is the time for us to uh, apply that. And if we're able to remember to do that at those times, then we can really take that to the uh, next level. That is the practice of bodhicitta uh, and the practice of the six paramitas, the six perfection, we then will be able to uh, really practice patience. So if not, if we don't do that, then uh, we these uh, negativities will very easily become um, our troublemakers. And so there are reasons for that. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Gangi laya dang zimba laya ji gangi ji tu 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 samo na zimba yin zan ni ka tu zimba di an shi la bi ba ka ju ru da ku ta ko ya zhi de wa zimba de ba zimba yin nan da rang jin zi yin nan da an ni ji yu yu jin ka zhi yin na shi zhu ye gangi de chu zin yong du chu zin na an ni gangi chi mu zi di shi la bi pe zhi dang wa yin na Rangi, Zimba, Nangji, 
유제라 마주베 제당 랑기 진바 나시 유랑 유유진이 게알라 루기 민도와 랑기 댐바지안다 랑기 탁주지안디기 아니 아 뭐지 당지 마리바저야 디게 탁주지안 진데야 장보지데야 아니 장보지데야 아니 진바지데야 데 창마로 코랑코라 세신지 인바 마지 아니 남도 이제한도 유대와지 아니 고랑 고랑기 아 가지고 다지 동네 주용인지 인정 진바 데라 아니 실어 배주에 땅 랑기 진바 나지 유대라 메데 랑기 진바 나지 아니 에 지카조로 고소주기 서로가 나지 진바 나지 출대 연아 아니 딱 가두이나 강에서 찾아와. 내 인자는 시럽 니카진 랑기 진바 나지 유메바지 삼는다. 삼마 뚜주비지라는지 교제나 저거 이랑진지 그래야 제한지 중소화이나 시럽 니 자친보 라진부도와 시럽 니 자친보 최탐지 띵중이 니 중간에 랑진 두바 들자며 말이 진바 나야 돼. 덴벌 진대야지도 진바 가디 샤프신 진대야지도 니 가와 너 유유 셰샤라 도에 랑기 세만 도에 떼주 지나 비도와 다랑 랑기 아니 출발 인바다 진바디 진바 인바지 하고야 라 어때 레라버리 수세주 지나 진바 나지 니게 독자 가와 너 뭐라 도가 죽어도 今日，是做吧？没办法嘞，有当的，这么不知了，对呢，这呢，下了吧，咱们，这吧，咱们，听听呢，三年，三年，这儿得一米多呀，有这么多啊，嗯，那是。So um, the grasping or the attachment to our suffering, we need to utilize, <clears throat> again, our wisdom to uh, counter it. Usually, we have very strong self-grasping or grasping at intrinsic existence at the object that we have grasping at or at the mind that uh, we perceive. Um, the uh, objects, and so, um, so when we so to be uh, grasping of the suffering, when we use, when we utilize our wisdom, we will come to the understanding that, um, be it the object that we grasp at or the mind that perceives the object, uh, there is not an intrinsic existence added. And that type of this type of wisdom will be able to help us to eradicate self grasping. We will be able to understand that it's our discursive thoughts, it is or our self grasping that brings us suffering. And that we will also understand that the object does not exist uh, in a way that we grasp it or how we perceive it. Or the, the objects also do not exist in a way as our mistaken feelings uh, reckon. And so um, there are numbers of reasons, there are many, many reasons uh, that we need to find a way to open our wisdom. And uh, because everything, all phenomena exist um, because of dependent origination, having understood that, we will be able to widen our wisdom and that um, having widened our um, wisdom uh, at circumstances, for example, when um, facing our grasping, for example, the grasping at intrinsic existence strongly, at those moments we can ask, we can question ourselves, where is that thing that you're grasping? Be it at the object, is it at the object, or is it on, is it uh, at your mind that perceives the objects? And so, if you question yourself and start looking, very often 
you uh, very quickly you would know that this self grasping is actually wrong. It's actually quite easy as long as you apply to it. And so that very bad person, that person that you see from head to toe, there's not a good place good about that person. Where is the badness of that person? Where? From the head to his toes? Like where? Can you actually pinpoint that? I'm not saying that these things, um, you know, the sufferings or the badness uh, do not exist. It's not that they exist. But if you look at that bad person that you see as, you know, being very bad, even if he's bad today, tomorrow he might become, he might turn into a good person as if that bad person doesn't exist anymore, isn't it? That's all. Oh, that's all. Did That's it. Um. <clears throat> Dala Jinja Chatuki, Shikur Lasso Mirich, Chonga Rangi Lambata, Jaka Jena, Uvashos. Okay, so we, we've left off at the at the fifth verse, which reads When out of envy others mistreat me with abuse, insults, or the like, I shall accept defeat and offer the victory to others. Oh, Lasso, Dandini Chatu Layade, that so um this word jealousy here this jealousy it is something very strong very um the um with lots of weight and so in our daily life here in the 21st century it is really necessary that we think about this because when this comes to our mind it is a, a big flaw mm. So in general, there's um, different, many different occurrences of this type of jealousy. For example, there's jealousy in competition between countries, uh, between family members, between members of companies. Um, there's all kinds of different, you know, types of situations when there's jealousy occurring. And so whenever this competitive mind uh, comes about, it is very important for us right now to see its shortcoming. Mm. And that's something. Chatu So no matter how great our uh, conducive circumstances are right now, no matter how many great things we have, if we are under the power of jealousy, then the only thing that we can happen to us is suffering. Any other um, pleasures that we might find through form, sound, smell, taste, touch, however great they may, great they may be, through them, there's nothing else that can come than suffering. And so when we come under the power of jealousy, we will be defeated by it. And 
ane di susula coba tunggu yang masih ribu aja. Jengi ayang dah nangji jenjuk tu, eh cenangi. Lebi tu kan dia tak cuma tu yang bayi nang, rangi sembel, cakap juga mula yang sungsang, ane di la Yesus hilang, ah tuan yang baca, ane di la betul cakap orang jenis ni ane, jengi pusing coba la, ane rangi coba. Kangi, rangi pusum coba la, rangi coba la. Kangi, di si kangi ni, cesa jakap hindrendur, tapju, di ni, cimzang ye, ni, hindrendur, tapju, di ni, zu, dra, chi, ro, rekja ye, di ni ye, tak si be punzo, ni, ji, wang bo rangpa ye, ngaco si be punzo, tenje. Dengan cara cuma tu, ni kap tu yoga ina, ina yang cahdo yang mau lantau jawa ina, ane ngaco kadu ina macam mana? Kadu ina susu hisem na senang la ya, kadu ina hisem na susu jinang la ya. Dengan ni hisem jumia ya, hisem pamia ya, ane kang dar ane hisem na la dongeng na cuma tu, jing deh wade rang rang ye cahdo hijau tu ye, cius cius. So if we live our lives under the influence of jealousy and competitiveness, then no matter how many uh, economic wealth we have or other um, excellences of samsara that we might possess, the only thing that they can bring about is suffering. There is nothing else. Every outer or inner excellences that we might possess, any pleasures, they will only bring suffering. Because if our mind is consumed by jealousy and competitiveness, then forget about rejoicing in others' um, happiness. It will bring problems to ourselves. It will bring problems to others. For example, if there's jealousy or competitiveness between countries, that will bring problems to them. If, there, if it exists be between family members, nothing but problems will come. And so if we follow after these pleasures or excellences of form, sound, smell, taste, and touch, these might be pleasurable to our coarse faculties, right? In a coarse sense, they might be pleasurable. However, they can always and only bring about suffering if we, fall, if we are consumed by this jealousy and competitiveness. Then we will live our lives scared, depressed. We will always feel down. And so there's different types, all these different types of sufferings uh, will be brought about. By this mindset. Then, Chato de Yang, Aniji, Jimmy Jimmy, and Chuguru Marwa, Mazola, she up to you every day. She up the Aniji, you more Jane Yam de Lubi, she up the Yama Sonsang, so Chato de Sava de Gu Maribur. And she up such a bonde, cuts a machine, and then Mariba Sena, we need to matoni, Zimba, Ati, Zimba. Ani dihi cuma ini mas sungsan, ani kadu ini aku cuci buat yang gemen doa. So this jealousy also doesn't come about without any causes and conditions either. It doesn't just come about haphazardly. It is because our wisdom right now is mixed with um, afflicted afflictions, with afflictive emotions, that these things come about. And the root of that is ignorance, because our wisdom right now is not yet opened up. And we are under the power of ignorance, the ignorance that doesn't see things as they really are. We are consumed by a fixation on grasping a true existence. Mm. Ani be turu job segio marwa. Di ko siapa yang namjo datang dengan ani? Ani cari muka tu yo bayi na. Macam zaman ling di sini kore. Semjan tamje dewa dua kore. Tunge dua yo mari. Koriuk ya wu kore. Di nangge ani semjan tu so cham dua kore. Di cham dua yo ya la ani semjan sama loa rang nangji tohu yu cok kore. Tohu yu cok ding kore. Di sungsang Tak hujan je, rangli lah sayu bayi na, kawalah, cibalah, cimaru, 
Teru dele, yaksasi. Zamuling dela, go he do. Yaw, pe missy yawore, Koran la pe missy yawo do. Then a jingi any, Kajuguru. Dagana Samuel go he do in a jesu yanchia dang. Anne Jean la tachimuyaji, jingi chato chin, magala. And it's Naksim Nusim locked a chato this be yani. Cheva yina, Kune dukja maimba. Anne, Jundrejin, Namja she be tone. Shut up, Pitcher Dung, eh? And she Susugi, dear Kune Mevachene, didn't he? Deva Susugi, Korangi Duba, Koran Chato Chiginona, Chato Chena, Koran, oh, diggy. Susula took ya some no de Korangi, some no took ya remado, Narala, Kimidoa. Chesang, Maso Kondro Lang, and it Shedan Lang, Ladu, Sik Zubuzidan. Nam Jutsu Bodri, Dingatogi, Zimbagi to Maziva Chivaina. Atu Yahores Lava in a Susu Yabo Mena, Yahores Lana Cago Emdu. Dugares Lava in a Susu, Tena, Dugoya Sio Marva. Teson Zang go Jacajena, Dues Lava in a Susu Ye, Susu Chava Caritina, Deva Jene Caritina, Simjeman and Simjenton de la Bugin. Chunga rang the lamba shoe, Selani, and Chato Jason Karchiva in the Tela, sung in Joseph Meva. Semba Changbang and Shira Pesudan, Damebe, Chu Tombigun, Semji and Katinjin be Tombigun. Anni, Chi, the ding on any, Semba Sanguchiadi, and Hajin the Jacobu and Jerry. Um, so this verse tells us to um, to accept defeat and give the victory to others. And so, um, if we don't use if we don't use our wisdom, then um, how can we ever bring about the the peace and happiness for all sentient beings? Isn't that what we want? Isn't that what all sentient beings want? All sentient beings want to be happy and do not want to suffer. All sentient beings want to live in a nice environment, have a pleasant place uh, to live. All sentient beings need um, food and clothing. And so when others have that, when others you know, obtain these things, rather than being jealous of them, wouldn't it be more logical to think, how great if they have these things? Because I also need them. And if, if they have more than me, how great, how wonderful. Everybody needs them. And so in that regard, we can rejoice. We can rejoice in others' um, success, pleasures, and um, then if you know from the other side, others get uh, you know jealous of us. Then we can think that they are under the influence of you know competitiveness, pride, covetousness, ill will, wrong views, etc. We use our wisdom in that way, and so then you know if others you know are jealous of that of us. What is that to us? It doesn't hurt me. It's nothing, it's nothing but, you know, some words or some thoughts that they have and maybe, you know, their expression towards me. But what is that to me? It doesn't really do anything to me. And so we think that when, you know, um, when, <clears throat> when others have uh, success or happiness, I think we give all the uh, happiness. We wish them all the happiness. And so when others, um, you know, blame us, mistreat us, then we give them the victory. And we think, I give the, all the pleasure and happiness to all my mother's sentient beings. And then thinking in that way, with a mind of selflessness, with a mind that remembers the kindness of all sentient beings, we give the victory to others. Mm. Koyuksum jodi, sama ji gendi yuri. Then, Rangran Suzugi, Aninji, Dungema deva deva deva, Naji, Semjin, Sakolo, Degarangi. De inzani, one entani, Chato Jason Massachini, Yarje dangi, Chichila, Kunjenda, Aninji, Kanda, see Tony in under, Jacobi Tony in under, Chui Tony in under, Aninji, Prado Jason Lani, nay. 
可，那你夜晚吃不熟，吃不就吃的吧？伊那，俺们茶树、茶多的，真心的，吃那草子多啊。这松子，那就茶多真心来的，没透明，素来伊那，用水把鸡蛋、用心把鸡蛋呢，来
Ani, prado gi chabla, Jesu yerang. Zangbyo yende la Jesu yerang chia. Leg bi chat mer. Dindi che ba ina, ani susu ye, soba jibo, soba deva. Ani zamling dia yang kaju, chamalo, jitu ngi sonam di chamalo. Ani ji leg bi chal, roba ina, ani shide. Ani simla, dunge mer, sambala pachu mer. Chichila, Rupa, Chichila, Ichi. Be such a moon grower. Peace and happiness of the world, it is the responsibility that belongs to all of us. So we are responsible for our own happiness, we're responsible for the happiness of our family, and so forth. If you want happiness, then there is no place for jealousy. And instead of jealousy, you should be rejoicing. You can give um, space for rejoicing, for seeing the positive side. And that will bring about feelings of happiness and pleasure. And it will be the, um, how to say, like the, the merit of the world. It will be the happiness of the world if that comes about. And there will be no obstacles. There will be no difficulties for the world. And they will, people will, um, help each other mutually. There will be trust between people. Mm -hmm. Respons this is the responsibility of all of us. Then did it? No, it's a chimbo. This is some lower. Leg be chat, twin be chin. This is the some lower. Honey, Gavala, Jibala, Deruba, Yarje, Lorachin, Jela, Yuna Gala. Rangla yuna jibala, de chang mong loa, rang jing gu, mong bu zi kyo jing, mong bu zi le dune ya jie zi doa ba de, la shi ba zi re jen su su yi, ane, jik sang ba di, hui yang gu da, jia qing bu, rang bu zi kan doa ba yina, ang an zi bai mi si jing, zha qing bu cha ki doa. So the, you know, all the things that are going well for us, all the conducive circumstances, whether we have them, great. Whether others have them, great. Because actually they come about through many, um, dependent on many other things as well. And so it is, there's a, there's a great auspiciousness in that. And there's a great, um, dependent arising, uh, in that, in that, um, fortune that they have and that we have. So we can think in that way, how vast our moments become and how precious. Mm -hmm. And then we continue with the next verse, which reads, When someone whom I have benefited and in whom I have great hopes gives me terrible harm, I shall regard that person as my holy guru. Well, that's also, these words are extremely precious. Hmm. Tang a ran so yi pa me la pende. Za chen bu zi ro bo mang bu zi che. An su la yi na. Su su che sa yi cha kap chung za yi chim zang. An ji ro bo chung mo. An su su yi nang mi kare zi na. Pa pen ba pa ji ro zi. An ni che wa yi na chu. Ayang pa si ji kare zi. Le ba jang jang do. An ni sang wu yin jor zi do. And um, <clears throat> so when we talk about someone who we've benefited a lot, so maybe, um, you know, between countries that have benefited each other a lot, or between friends, uh, between partners, within the family, there's always, um, there can be this, this situation where you have benefited, you've only benefited someone else, and yet, all they bring to you is harm. And so this, these appearances arise, right? This is, you know, this happens to us. Mm. Zachimbo, Nayanjo. Then digi Zachimbo, Nayanjo de la, and Zachimbo Matone, 
Ninji our kind parents or one's kind parents, though they have been so extremely kind in raising their kids, or our kind teachers who have brought about all the qualities in the, in the students, and also the lamas who have taught us how what to give up, what to abandon, and what to adopt, right? So when sometimes they are not seen as precious, we don't see them, we don't see their preciousness. And so when this happens to us, when we are on the other side, then it is important not to dislike them, but to see them as our lama, as our teachers. And why is that? It's because we are not helping, we are not doing these things, we're not benefiting other people for our own purpose. This is not uh, talking from the side of wisdom. If our wisdom is diluted by, um, by our afflictions, then if we benefit someone else, our aim would be to get something, to get something for ourselves, to wish, you know, that something good will happen to us if we benefit someone else. This is not how it is if we talk from the side of benefiting people with wisdom. Because then, however much they harm us in return, we will not dislike them. We will not hold a grudge towards them. But here the practice is really to see them as our lama, to see them as our teacher. Because actually, in fact, these beings, they are under the influence of their afflictions. And so when they harm us in such a strong way, then we can think, poor thing, they are completely under the influence of their afflictions. And so this is a great opportunity for us. And this, this verse talks about um, taking that opportunity at that moment and then seeing them as our lama. Mm,大丁啊,這,呃,新年,他把他來的,被米西給錢不是的。他是,我說的新年他把他媽媽是吧,你呢?他說就很可憐的,不會呢,這把媽媽,這,那呢,是,拉出來,我不錯,我不錯
So seeing the uh, seeing this person as your um, holy lama is very very crucial. It's very important because if we don't know how to do this practice, what kind of flaw is there? That um, that flaw is that you know if we um, in this one life we have um, you know we have our child and we give them great uh, education and we give them opportunities for jobs. And the parents, they, they really, really take care uh, of their children. And in the same way, the teachers, they really take care of their students. And um, in the same way, within, uh, you know, working environments, really, really try to uh, benefit and have great hopes for that. They have great wishes for something in return, right? So whether it is between uh, friends, within countries, between families, when we have such great hope um, for something in return, and if they hurt us, then we get really depressed. We kind of lose it a little bit. We get really scared. And our mind get, gets lost. We, we have this feeling of being lost. If, if, we, um, if, we, uh, if we then generate these feelings of competitiveness, pride, covetousness, ill will, wrong views, and we don't know how to open up our wisdom, that will bring about great suffering. And so we will lose trust in others and we will even lose trust in ourselves. And in the worst case, we would commit suicide. We will lose all hope and we will, we will lose all trust in other people. We feel like we have no one that we can put our trust in. So this becomes very scary. Mm. Nancy, Doctor，妈妈，这土生哪了？那呢？点这土猪萝卜呢吧？种这萝卜呢吧？来呀的，那你个土土米，这这问题是因啥？那呢？土生了，所以说伊上当心的。啊，点这用西瓜的，真的？
a support for for patients. It becomes a support for wisdom. It becomes a support for generating renunciation. Actually, it becomes a support or a base for all of these precious qualities to arise in our minds. And so in that regard, if we can see it in that way, then our minds will become more honest, our minds will become um, kind, we will have, find a kind heart. And so these are actually the benefits of seeing this person as our Lama. Oh, Rangi Um, so that being so, if we know how to use our wisdom and we can see the, um, the causes and conditions that uh, precede our suffering, then that brings about a very special power, a very special uh, potential for natural, natural wisdom to arise. And then if we know how to use our kind and honest mind, then when we meet a condition that is unfavorable to us, or basically if we get into trouble, then uh, we can change that. We can change that mind into happiness, into bliss. How precious is that? Dona Mursam, Dubaye, Pende Manam Gunambul, Mai Nerda, Dongi Gun, Sami Dala, Lemba Show, Sonamba. So then we continue to the next verse. He reads, in short, both directly and indirectly, do I offer every happiness and benefit to all my mothers. I shall secretly take upon myself all their harmful actions and suffering. Mm. So any this verse talks about any action that we do, any activity that we engage in. Um, that we um, that we offer all of our happiness benefit to all these limitless sentient beings of the three times. So may it be directly through our body, speech, and mind, or um, or indirectly, in any way, in any way, we we offer all of our um, benefit and happiness to all sentient beings. And so, in this regard, then they become uh, the object of uh, the practice called Dongle, the giving and taking. Mm. And so here, um, you know, what it talks about is not that anything or any, you know, object that we possess, we should just give everything uh, to others and leave ourselves empty-handed. So this is not really what it talks about in that we, you know, we, we ourselves are left with nothing. And so here we have to think about that a little bit uh, on the deeper level. Mm. Uh, 
啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？啊，你几时过来？
or sorry, a kind mind, we need an honest mind. And what does that mean to have an honest mind? It means have a mind that is embraced by perfect wisdom. Because um, right now, of course, we do have you know kindness, consider kindness. But actually, whatever patience we have, whatever generosity we do, however much you know we give rise to the mind of altruism and compassion, actually these minds right now are still quite limit, uh, limited because they are um, under the influence of grasping. However, if we fully embrace wisdom, then we will be liberated from that grasping. And then if we use that wisdom, then our patience, our compassion, and our wisdom will become absolutely unlimited. There will be no limit to them. Whatever problems that we might need then, you know, based on that wisdom, we can take these problems on the path and they would, they will appear as a support. This is the practice that's called, you know, taking the problems on the path and, and uh, giving rise to the appearance of the problems as a support. And this is so, so, so important. Mm. And however we put it, uh, wisdom and compassion is extremely valuable. Mm. So here, this verse, the last two lines are I shall secretly take upon myself are there are all their harmful actions and suffering. And so, of course, this talks about, um, you know, taking it as an object to our Tonglen practice or giving and taking practice. But this is something that we have to think about really a lot. Because in general, um, to take on other people's suffering is something that's very difficult. Mm. However, if this is someone who has uh, the direct realization of emptiness, then, um, you know, they can... Um, However, if this is someone who has a direct realization of emptiness, then it is possible to actually directly take on the suffering of others. Jachimbutasusula, <laughs>
Um, <clears throat> so if we if we um, now us you know ordinary beings uh, try to take on other people's suffering, then there is a direct benefit to us. There is a direct benefit to ourselves that in the fact that it it really you know touches our mind. And even though you know there is not maybe that direct um, uh, possibility of actually on the suffering of others, it has great potential in our mind. It has a great um, strength because through that thought, we find um, a courage, we find a strength of heart that can actually help us when, you know, w when we are sick, we will be able to bear it easily. Um, we will be less scared. We will have less fear in our minds. And so we can think, you know, may all the suffering of all sentient beings come onto me. And may all my um, all their karmic debts be completely cleared, and so then the mind will become very vast, and we will also accumulate great great merit, and so therefore this is very valuable. Tony de la Deneni, Karzor Daji, Zewa Yilo, Zangbu Yilo, Kangbu Yilo, Dea Yang Ko Shirab Dea Yang Rangjin Ji Koran, Da Shubul Peju Dang Bu Dua. And based on the practice of Tonglen too, the um, loving mind, the kind mind, and honest mind too will be, you know, strengthened. If strength. <laughs> So then if we were to think about, you know, what is the shortcoming of not doing this type of practice, not doing the Tonglen, giving and taking, then the fault would be that our minds will become depressed, we will become very fearful, um, you know, it would be you know, more difficult to heal from sicknesses. We will come under the influence of competitiveness, jealousy, bring about all kinds of suffering. Hmm. So, then, and then it is said, undefiled by the stains of the superstitions of the eight worldly concerns, may I, by perceiving all phenomena as illusory, be released from the bondage of attachment. Mm. This is really important for us too, right? Nay, <laughs> um, so here, the what we need to think about is uh, the eight worldly concerns, right? So, for example, liking very much when people praise us, and really strongly disliking when other people rebuke us. We like positive things, we don't like negative things, and so you know, working basically. Uh, in order to increase our own reputation, our own name, making our name bigger. And so actually, this is not an honest mind. This is not a kind mind. 
this is like putting on a show, you know, of putting of someone who's kind and honest. It would just be um, someone appearing or showing the appearance of, you know, someone who's nice or talking in a very nice way in that regard, then deceiving other people. And it is just so that other people see us you know, as a good person. And um, so all of these eight worldly concerns are to be abandoned. And all phenomena should be seen as an illusion. Mm. She Tuxiatu And so here it says that all phenomena, uh, perceiving all phenomena as illusory, right? And so how come they are illusory like? It's because they are all uh, in the nature of being dependent, in the nature of interdependence. And so um, here uh, these thoughts, right? Um, so the stains of superstitions, okay? So they use superstitions. So these superstitions, they are the root. They are the root of all suffering because they are under the influence of grasping, um, craving or desire to this life, to other lives. And all suffering of all the three times comes from that. Um, and so in order to remove this, in order to remove this grasping and this, um, this craving, uh, we need to see things as illusory life. Because things are not actually like the way we grasp at them. And for that, we need to know, we need to understand emptiness. Kangar Taji Dogdo Jawazi Jubaina, Mazu Ninju Changsen, Yanda Vitama, the wearing girl, such a lens Jubaina, and it's a Choke Lenanda, Malinanda, the Sugi Lo de Jubaina, but they were units. Dang and so, in short, in short, uh, if we are to practice uh, Dharma, we need the mind of renunciation, bodhicitta, and the pure view. Whether we are Buddhist or not, if we have this mind, then, um, you know, we can, we can overcome everything. So if we don't have the mind of renunciation, then it'll be very difficult to have a good conduct. And so for us, you know, maybe people who live in the West or uh, foreigners, so we, we generally don't have that much uh, problems when it comes to, you know, getting enough food or getting enough clothing. And maybe we might not have, um, have to face the very strong uh, sicknesses or illnesses. And so then there's a danger of the mind kind of getting distracted very much or just, yeah, walking away with pleasures. And then the 
一级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级级
right? And so for that, we have to understand the, um, the benefits of liberation. So when we think about it, the uh, pleasures that we might now experience, you know, of form and sound and smell and all of these objects, they are all in the nature of impermanence. They are all in the nature of change. They are, however you put it, in the end, they are all temporary. And so we need something to put our trust in. We need a place that we can trust. And that is that whatever we, we can put our trust in, that is liberation. And this is a liberation from all our suffering. And if we have that objective in mind, then we will, then we will feel this wish for really wanting to obtain liberation. We will generate a mind that wants to get liberated. Because whatever feelings that we now have of suffering or happiness or uh, neutral feelings, they're quite coarse. They're quite um, rough in a way. Um, rough, maybe not. Maybe coarse is a better word. Um, and so, you know, if we, if we don't want to suffer, if we want happiness, real happiness, ultimate happiness, then we need to have the objective of liberation. Gazinzo, and so, you know, for us in the world, we like very much the, uh, you know, fame and, um, uh, sorry, food and clothing and, and sort of fame or reputation. We like this very much, these excellences of samsara. This is what we like, this is what we want. And so if we think in terms of, you know, the time spent of one week or even just one day, then, you know, if we spend time um, chasing these things, then there is a sort of result of a pleasurable feeling, right? If we get uh, a certain amount of money or we get a certain reputation, there is pleasure there. There is pleasure in but this is not enough, is it? It cannot give us all the happiness that we really desire because um, it is in the nature of suffering. It is in the nature of change. When it meets conditions, it will turn into suffering and it will change. Mm. Rangjinzi Um, and so what we, what we need is a limitless type of happiness. And so this will come about once we know the real nature of the mind. For this we need to know the nature of the mind. So we look at the last two sentences. By perceiving all phenomena as illusory, be released from the bondage of attachment. So seeing things as an illusion will give, um, will give way for us to not have such a strong self-grasping mind 
we will not grasp at things as having self. And then because of this grasping, now we are bound, right? And this brings about suffering. This is the, the cause of our suffering. And so whatever it is, uh, inner phenomena like the mind or the outer phenomena like things, all of these things are in fact in the nature of suchness. They are empty. And so, and knowing that, our grasping mind will slowly dissolve. This is how ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、ま、ちょっと、
remove the root of all suffering, um, we need perfect wisdom. And um, and the reason why we suffer, so the root of this suffering, is the mind of ignorance. It is our coarse, grasping mind. It is the mind that doesn't see that all uh, the way phenomena really are. And so not only does it not see the way things really are, it instead creates a sort of uh, conceptual exaggeration uh, of the way things really exist. And that is why sentient beings will continue to suffer and why they, why they will go round and round in the wheel of suffering. So it is a mistaken mind. And um, it is a mind that sees the, um, it sees things as having inherent existence. It sees things as having inherent nature, whereas actually they do not have inherent nature. Actually, they are dependently originated. All of our happiness has a cause and, and conditions. And all of our suffering too have causes and conditions. Raso Tinzani Ta Kangar uh Jitemba ni Prince of Tema Dang Tendam Demba. Dikwaran Rajin de Basredoa Kunzobina Kunzop Temba Lana Su Kang no Jusha Jesha Jushi Chawachi de Nidi Zukta Chi Ro Resha Dela Did Kesung Karjugoroda, um, so when we talk about when we talk about the base, we talk about the two truths. And for this we have to understand the two truths are conventional truth or relative truth and ultimate truth. So conventional truth here refers to um, you know our normal perception of uh, any outer and inner phenomena, form, sound, smell, taste, touch, and whether they exist or they do not exist. It is this mind that uh, recognizes these phenomena. And then when it comes to ultimate uh, truth, it is the nature of these phenomena. It is knowing. Um, it is the. It is knowing that. Uh, what how they really are. It is the wisdom nature of phenomena, emptiness. So if we are mistaken about this nature, then you know we will keep going around and around. Um, and so this verse actually tells us not to be mistaken, not to be mistaken about the way things really are. And um, so it tells us that the mind of uh, loving kindness should be embraced by the view of suchness. Because it is through the union of uh, emptiness and compassion that we can actually uh, obtain liberation and um, omniscience. Here, uh, um, liberation refers to the seeing that seeing the way things really are, and omniscience 
two refers to emptiness. Hmm, that tangzi le, chingwa chue na, dami do bi shi re. Rang jinzi le, ane, chingwa chue ni jin jinzi zi na, ane chengju yi sen. Da du na, den de zi yi ngane da ngan zo, da wa chingji ma lo wa, jue pa chingji ma lo wa de, ane jap da, gun da, bong nien da, ane ngan zo yi junur, yak shu, rin dang, shi shu, ane su tu da nang ba gun da, ne gap, tar tu, uh, in short, so I was a, I was a little bit wrong there in the in the last part. So in short. Liberation from our self-grasping is liberation, and liberation from our self-cherishing refers to uh, omniscience. And so it is through this perfect view and perfect conduct that we obtain the most um, trustworthy uh, protection or refuge. It is our greatest wealth, it is our greatest value, and it's something that will be there all the time in our daily lives and in, in everything that we experience. It is the practice of perfect wisdom and perfect compassion that is limitless. It is a limitless um, jewel. Mm, so, that is the Lojun Siji, and Lung Dordu, the Puzin by Yi. Then, you know, so, the Nyam Dulama, young Turn de Ma, Gombaji, Nyam Dordu, Jor, and the Nyam Dordu, and the Nyam Dordu. And so today, um, I'll give you the uh, oral transmission of this text of the eight uh, verses of mind training. So now we will recite it together very slowly, and we will recite it while thinking, contemplating about the meaning of the verses. So please recite all together. <coughs> And then, the six rings is a six cell wood in the world. And the Zoma changing be tone in Sanjay the changes in the sun, changes much love more. Juni, not so long I used to my team so much and some much and in the city on the chamber that they will change you the same. Dan Tabby, shut up, pitch you down any such a little you want to change the monom that ran him those over chairs. And so as you are reciting these words here, they are very clear. Um, so please, as you are reciting this, you remember, you remind yourself uh, of the meaning and you will, you remember that you can see that the words um, dissolve into your body, speech and mind. And you will obtain, uh, you make the, this prayer or aspiration that you, that you will obtain this limitless love and compassion um, in your own body, speech and mind. Dane sem chen tom je Jen 
Jiva Gunda Yanda Lama Dante Menchu Jempe La Longe Sada Longe Yante Rapsod Dorje Change Kumban Yurta Shoi Changju Simju Rimbo Maje Bana Jeju Jin Jiva Nyamba Neba Kone Kondo Pempa Shoi Tony Tavar in Boche, Mache Bona, Jeju, Jawa, Yamba, Mepa, Kuni, Kundu, Pemba, Shu. Oh, let's go, cut in chair.